It was a crazy feeling. I could not get myself to sleep that night. The day just went basking in glory after driving that car. This Beamer is the best I've ever driven. So that day I was told that early next morning I have an off-road shoot. I leave a good night's sleep to the sounds of peacocks, broken down village houses, to meet a few middle-aged guys hanging around a bushwalk. It was not worth my sleep, but then these guys went in their cars, fired up the engine, and boy, did I get an awakening. And there I see Hari having a conversation with Sanjeev. Sanjeev, uh, tell me something about terrain tigers. Well, to start it, it was three of us who started off-roading in Gurgaon and uh, gradually people joined and now we are about 1200 members strong. Wow. We are one of the youngest clubs, but also we are moving quite fast. Did you say 1200? That's right, that's Amazing. right, 1200. So, how do you guys get together? What, how do you plan out your... Uh, I can't see 1200 coming here all, all at one or do you actually No, get... we space out uh, the off-roads yeah. or OTRs as we call them. In different formats, we have the extreme off-roading where we have the core guys coming who are hardcore. Then you have a general family OTRs and various formats like that. Okay. So now, what are we going? What's planned for today? What What would you call this? This is something we'll take you over and show you the terrain we usually do. Okay. Okay. And uh, we we will go through different kinds of terrain. And uh, luckily, we've had monsoon, so we see Gurgaon a little more green than it usually is. Okay. We've got three mean looking machines here and I'm looking forward to putting them through their paces here with the team Terrain Tigers. So off we went to know looking for what? Cuts from inside his car. It was like someone threw a bucket of icy cold water on me. My body rattled and my horizons changed in an instant. <laughs> oh. I held on to dear life. Nothing could stop this now. We were going to crash. And then he stopped. And there was his car, the monster they called it. It was going down a descent when the car just tilted. And our Mr. Hari Singh just opened the door and perched himself on the side of the car. So this is what you call off-roading. We, we are stuck in a situation where we need to be winched out, where the gypsy looks as if it's almost going to turn over. And uh, you know, in normal circumstances, people don't even know what off-roading is. And these guys, we are laughing it off and having fun. You know, this is part of uh, off-roading. And with the rope, they pull the car out. Get off. Come, oh, be, come where I am. <laughs> oh my God. Now you see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you would never dream of putting it there. <laughs> Even even. Yeah. If we could see. <laughs> 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 so that's what monsoon is. Let's go. That's that's quite a ditch there. <laughs> and we're lucky to be out from there. <laughs> but it's a part of everyday thing. It happens. Yeah, this is what all the time. This is what <laughs> off-roading is all about, yeah. So now was the hunt for the second spot. So did they find one? So this guy Sumer gave me some gyan on how he ripped apart a gypsy and made a monster out of it. To start off with, I put 33 inches mud tires for better traction, they are 12.5 inches wide. Then I have put the front leaves, the front suspension, I have put leaf springs of uh, thar, rear thar, and this, because thar is 46 inches long, 48 inches long, while the gypsy is 37, so it gives more articulation to it. Then I have reduced the leaf springs to two or three pack, that's it, so that I can get a good articulation into it. It has a 14 inch travel shocks, again to help in articulation. Then I have got diff locks in both the axles, front and rear, air locks, those are ARB locks. So I can switch over between a closed differential as well as an open differential. This car has some capabilities and it seems he added a whole new level of gadgets and gizmos to make it behave like a mountain goat while it sounded like an angry bear. It's not just the machine that's doing the hard work, it's a mare as well. <laughs> 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 
In all my earnestness, I asked Hari a few questions. Thought I should act all cool. To pick up some knowledge. Articulation was it. Whatever that meant. Well, Hari, it was an amazing experience with the Train Tigers. How do you feel about the experience also? Well, I'm totally at home with this uh, ship. This is what I enjoy doing and it's fantastic to have such gizmos, such gadgets in your uh, cars that can actually handle all this kind of terrain. I was, I was sitting with Sanjeev Singh, one of the members of Train Tigers. He was phenomenal the way he went up those slopes. I thought I was going to flip back, <laughs> but he pulled it off amazingly. It's a lot better when you're driving. Yeah, I, I, I think so. But it was an amazing experience. Yep. Definitely, some, some inclines, some uh, those what we've just gone through, it's incredible. These guys, are they know their job, they know what they're doing and uh, the good thing about it is they're doing it very safely, you know. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this truck, it's, 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 look at this gypsy. I can call it a truck actually, look at the tyres of it. Yeah, I mean these, see, uh, the equipment has to be right if you go off-roading. You've got to have the right equipment and this is exactly what it is. Uh, you've got good tyres, you've got good suspension, you've got tremendous articulation there. That's, that's the kind of travel you need for off-roading, you know, you don't want any wheel to actually go up in the air if you can help it. So if you, if all your wheels, if they, tra if this travel is enough and they touch the ground, you will have grip. And uh, that's exactly what is happening here. In fact, they've even got a double action sh uh, shackle here. So after the first bit pulls out, then the second part of it, you know, pulls out. So you 14 inches of travel there. That's incredible. Eh? Well, let me explain. Have you ever seen images of a jeep with one wheel extended from the car? and the body still pretty much straight, that is articulation. It is basically the range of the wheels that travel and keeping the body of the car in control. So since I had taken the last spot, Hari decided that he and Niloy would go down and chat a bit. Well, it's been a fantastic morning here with the Terrain Tigers. The terrain is beautiful, the vehicles are great, people are great. Niloy, what makes you do this and how often do you do this? Well, we do it every weekend, religiously. We haven't missed a single weekend so far since we have started the club. Uh, what makes us do this? It's very interesting because uh, in Gurgaon, most people hit the pubs after a day's, uh, hard day's work. We decided let's do something different. You know, the passion also drives us out here. So it's a mix of both that comes in. And plus the fact that we meet lots of interesting people every time. There are lots and lots more people joining in every day. So it's kind of great fun. So apart from off-roading, do you plan some other activities along with this or is it just hardcore off-roading and then go back? We have multiple formats. So one is the hardcore off-roading, one is the family off-roads that we do. One is the family long-distance off-roads that we do, where we take a weekend out, where we take people out of town. We take them, say for instance, a 500 kilometer distance, where we find newer tracks. So the families are also involved in it, the kids are also involved in it. So multiple formats is what we believe in. Fantastic, Niloy. It's been a wonderful morning and uh, make sure next time the barbecue's out, you have me over. Definitely, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> that being done now, there's one more thing to do. Get back in the car, hop around, and this time, Hari took behind the wheel. This was my first tries auto journalism. And they were just boys with toys. They didn't scream, they didn't yell. All they do is fire the engines and do all the talking. What else can I say about these middle-aged men prancing in their horses in the terrain? <laughs>